Hi! Welcome back to my channel. So, a couple of weeks ago, I picked up the Scroller Blanks pencil case set. Um, they had a sale on, and I'm just finally getting around to doing it. It comes with this canvas pencil case, some Posca pens, a Scroller Blank sticker, which is really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's really cool. A pencil and some paper to try out your designs on. I have this idea that I want the um, the drawing to expand as the pencil case expands, right? So it kind of has like a hidden part of the drawing, if that makes sense. And the idea I've got in my head is like a peekaboo kitty. So you see the top of a cat's head, and then as the pencil case expands, you see the whole cat. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to try and do. I do have a bunch of other Posca pens that I own that weren't in a case, and I think I might end up using some other colors that aren't in this set, but I'm going to see how I do. I'm going to start by seeing how much I can do with the colors that came in the set as well. So the cat, the main bit of the drawing, is um, going to be all with the... Um, colors that they send. I'm going to try them out, see what they're actually like, and um, also thinking to keep the rest of it kind of simple, just going to have some like grass and flowers and bugs and things like that. Just um, try and make it look cute and cartoony. I want to color in this um, little sketch just to see exactly how um, how it would look with these colors because at the end of the day if I happen to maybe not like it or whatever I might choose to do some bits in um, different colors and also because um, there's a black and a gray here and um, I want the top of the cat's head to be black so it's like just that's all you see is kind of like this black top of the head but then um, in black you can't really um, you can't really see a lot of detail in the face and things like that so I don't know if I should make the whiskers white on top of the black or if just using the gray as a little bit of difference between the black is enough for um, for the rest of the details to stand out um, so it's just something I have to visually be able to see before I decide to do it on the actual fabric So far I think the grey is enough to kind of make it stand out. I can kind of see the whiskers coming off on top of that. Also I wasn't sure whether to do the inside of the ears in grey or in this dark pink. Um, so I'm just seeing how the pink looks and uh, I think it looks alright. But um, anyway I think I have enough to start actually doing the drawing on the fabric. And it's really cool because the pencil actually works on this um, on the canvas pencil case so I can do a kind of sketch and not, um, not worry about having to erase the pencil because Posca's will just draw straight over that. Also, because this is a very cartoony kind of cat, I don't have to worry about making it too perfect. I just want it to look kind of cute, you know? But I still... Um, I still like that I'm able to do the sketch because otherwise it might end up with wonky eyes or you know whatever so yeah always easier to go um, with the sketch first now I'm just doing some blades of grass that again look kind of short and cute when the pencil case is um, down and then when it pulls out it'll have these nice long blades of grass as well that stand out and um, um, I don't know how many flowers I'm gonna put, but I'm thinking at least one flower, maybe with a bumblebee. I don't know, ladybug. Um, not sure if I'm gonna do some sunshine. I do have a nice yellow here, or maybe just some clouds and blue sky. I actually like that idea, having it blue. But I'm not sure if this um, this blue in, in the set is kind of a turquoise, so it's like half green, half blue. And I'm not sure if that's the color I want for this case. So I might end up going with like a baby blue that isn't um, isn't in the set. And I think that is my sketch done. And yeah, just adding a few blades of grass. And I think, yeah, I'm going with a baby blue. 
And the reason I'm doing the outline in blue and not in black is because um, I usually, when working with Posca's, I add the black outlines last because Posca's paint over everything, so they can paint over each other. So if I do a black outline now, then when I color it in, I might end up just going over that black and having to redo it anyway. Whereas this is the color of the sky that's going to surround everything and everything around what I'm um, outlining is going to be painted blue anyway. So if I do the background color first and then um, work from back to front, that tends to be the best way to go about using um, Posca's and other paint pens as you layer them forward from back to front. I also have to be a little bit careful when I do the joins because the central bit of fabric inside that allows um, this pencil case to fold in on itself is very flexible but that also means that flexibility allows it to move left and right so as I work with it I have to kind of tighten it make sure it's in the right place and then do the connections from top to bottom and I mean hopefully when it's full of pens it won't have this issue and it'll just stay straight but for now as it's empty and I have to kind of um, stretch it out by keeping my hand inside it um, yeah I just have to be careful to align it before I draw the light and um, this um, this pen I'm working with is a 1MR tip which is um, which is the finest tip they have it's really good for detail which is why I grabbed it but I think I'm gonna have to use a bigger, uh, bigger nib to um, to actually fill in the large portions of the sky. But I do think that I need to use this one to get into the tiny little details um, because the bigger nib I have is just too big to get in between the blades of grass. So I decided to kind of fill in the small gaps with the fine point, and then come back with a bigger one and just fill in the bigger chunks of color. And I do love this color. It's such a beautiful light blue. I'm really happy I actually went with this one rather than the turquoise for the sky. That um, even though turquoise is really pretty, it just wouldn't have been the same. I feel like this is such a pretty blue. If the whole pencil case was this blue, I'd just be happy with that. And uh, I don't know, I'd probably still draw all over it. But um, yeah. I think at this rate it's going to end up um, being mostly this colour anyway because of how much background I'm filling in with this. Anyway, time for the bigger nib. This bit should go a lot quicker. That makes such a difference. I'm finding this so satisfying. Not just designing the case, but seeing something plain white get filled up with colour. There's something magic about that. And Posca's really are the perfect tool for this. They take to any surface and the colours are so opaque and vivid. And um, they really you don't need to do like second passes to make them bright or anything like that they're just as bright as they are on anything I do find because canvas is very absorbent if I start going really quickly like coloring really fast I am um, seeing some of the um, marker lines so if I catch myself doing that I'll just go over that little bit and then keep pace as long as I keep pace I don't have to go over anything and it just looks perfect all throughout Sometimes they um, they kind of take a minute to dry, so I'm finding um, some of my hand is being covered with the blue from where I've touched um, other parts of the case that haven't dried yet. So I'm hoping that um, there aren't any kind of patchiness, but there's none that I can see. I don't think I've smudged anything or transferred any color. So yeah, so far so good. It's really cool. And yeah, it's... Um, this, this blue is just such a happy color. It's awesome. Now I just want to go around and touch up the little edges because I don't want to see any white in between the pencil case or on the edges. I didn't want to get too close so I wouldn't mark up the, um, the zipper. But um, I can always touch it up later as well. 
Now as I continue working on my layers back to front as it were, I think the next color that should get done is the green for the grass. And I'm using one of my own colors for this again because um, it's just a lot greener than, um, than turquoise. I think turquoise just wouldn't stand out enough against the um, light blue. And I'm doing it, um, for, I'm starting with the case condensed because I want to make sure that the uh, lines all kind of match up in, um, in this state of the case and then I'm going to expand it and then fill in the, um, the lines between the top and bottom and then um, obviously fill in the very bottom of the case last because it's the easiest part to do. Now at this stage, if I find any of the lines don't quite match up correctly um, from the top to the bottom, I can really easily fix it because like I said, Poscas can draw over anything including other colors. So I can um, go over the blue with the green if I need to or I can go over the green with the blue if I need to and I can just make sure that they line up really well or as best as I can um, make them line up anyway. There's a little bit here that I've corrected that's ended up leaving a, um, a white gap of um, canvas, which I'm gonna go over, um, I'm gonna finish the grass first, but then I'm gonna grab the blue marker and just go over the edges to make sure they all meet correctly. And then later when I add the black outlines, it's just going to look crisp, or at least that's the idea. There's also like a couple of millimeters of canvas that continues up into the fold. And I want to make sure that I draw it all the way up so that there's no kind of undone bits um, inside that might protrude in any kind of, you know, angle. Now I just need to fill in the bottom edge to complete the look of the grass and um, I'm going quite quick and just being really careful on the bottom edge where, the, where it meets the bottom of the pencil case because I'm not going to color that in. I've thought about it and as it's not generally a visible part and also if I have it standing on anything I don't want any kind of smudges or smears. I don't think there would be because I mean these dry permanent but just for um, whatever reason, I just decided to leave the bottom edge white. I thought about doing it a different color or um, as well as these little um, loops on the side of the case. I thought, should I color them in with something? I don't know, maybe like a bright pink or just something that stands out. But then I thought it kind of looks nice with just, um, just that little tiny little accent in white. But I'm going to see how it all looks at the very end as well and then decide then. Being really careful to fill in the stitches so there's no kind of white there and um, they paint really well even into the stitches so so far they've not actually been visible in there. It's really good. As I'm sure you can tell I'm really enjoying using the Poscos. Even though I've used them a lot before, this is actually my first time using them on canvas. And yeah, it's really nice. It's a lot nicer than actually using them on paper. And I have, I've have tried them on paper, but I find they kind of, um, even on really thick, nice paper, after uh, when you're filling in solid blocks of color, it starts kind of pulling up the paper a little bit and you get these tiny little rolls, kind of like lint on fabric. But yeah, this is much nicer. I've also tried them on glass and on ceramic. They do, they work on everything. These are lovely pens. I've been meaning to try them on like rocks, stones. I don't know what the right word is to use, but you know, you see people doing those really intricate kind of mandala designs on, um, on stones like really smooth round stones. I don't know if you have to buy them or look for them. But anyway, I've always wanted to try that, never got around to it. So that might be an idea because I know Poscas will definitely work on that.
Anyway, my cute little bumblebee's done. Now I just need to go around and add outlines to everything. It might not strictly be necessary because the colors, they stand out against each other well enough so you don't need an outline. But I find having a black outline just gives, um, gives any drawing really that um, kind of cartoony feel. And yeah, this is exactly what I'm going for here. Again, trying to be very careful where the lines meet up, but um, generally just uh, need a thin outline over everything. And um, then I can get on with doing the kitty. By the way, I'm sorry this video ended up being like 20 minutes long. I don't normally do videos this long, but um, in real time this took me about four and a half hours to do. I've really enjoyed the process, I'm not moaning at all about it, but um, I've sped it up as much as I could so it wouldn't be boring to watch, but I just didn't really want to cut anything away to kind of um, miss how I got from A to B to C and so on. So I figured I'd just leave it as is, speed it up as much as possible, and show you the whole process. Now again, just making sure the details are consistent, even in the bits you can't see, so I'm making sure the outlines go all the way up. Clouds need outlining too. I'm giving them a slightly thicker outline and I think they look so cute with that black outline there. It really makes them pop. Now this is kind of the scary bit for me because this is the main drawing on here so I feel like if I mess this up the rest of it is just for nothing. So really hope I don't mess it up. Um, yeah, this this grey is really dark and it's, um, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's very, very slight difference between the grey and the black, even though you can definitely see it, but the grey is just so dark that um, it's almost, almost black as it is. And this kitty's face is really dark now, so hopefully it all comes together and um, hopefully I don't mess it up. I'm not sure if um, if some of the colors dry a little bit lighter than what they are, but at the moment it feel like the gray on the paper in front of me is just a lot lighter than the gray I'm seeing on the canvas right now. But again, maybe it's just the contrast of, um, of the cat being completely colored in black. So just a little ways to go now. We're on the final stretch. Just, um, just got to fill in the body. Again, this is a really large chunk of color, so I'm going to switch um, to a bigger, chunkier marker because I have one and it's just going to be easier to do. It's a really thick nib that just makes the job so much quicker. And then again, back to the fine point for the, um, for the edge just to make sure it's neat. And there it is. I think, yeah, I think having a lot of the black around the gray has made the gray actually... Um, seem lighter than it was earlier when it was just gray on white so again i can see the details it's looking all right it's kind of different to um to the drawing but still uh, still what i wanted um just gotta yeah i forgot to do the legs on the bee um let's see if there's anything else i forgot there usually is sometimes right the eye it needs to have an eye I wanted to give it a highlight, but I need to wait for it to dry a little bit, otherwise it'll just um, smudge into the grey. Yeah, I really like it. This has been such a fun little project. It's just uh, it's just amazing. Thank you so much, Scrollerbox. This has been a really cool thing to do. I've really, really enjoyed it, and I think I'm going to use this pencil case to store a whole bunch of Poscas. Here's my Pickaboo Kitty. Let me know if you guys like it or what you think of it. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more random art. Thank you so much. See you soon.